Hi Capricorn, welcome to your career check-in. Before I get into your reading, a huge shout out to all my Capricorn viewers and my subscribers. Thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, I know we're on a bit of a roll with Capricorn. We've done three career readings in the month of June. And because in your energies, I've been seeing a brand new offer, a brand new start, a brand new opportunity coming in. Today, I wanted to focus the energy on just advice from uh, your spirit team, from the universe. What is it that you should do more of? What is it that you should do less of? Because I think you're on the brink of something huge, Capricorn. And I want to make sure that I can equip you with all the information that you need in this time. So today's uh, video might, might be a little bit shorter, but uh, it's just going to focus more on advice, how to handle this new opportunity that's coming in, how to make sure that you make the most of it, you capitalize on what the universe is bringing in for you. So let's start by getting overall advice for Capricorn, please, when it comes to money and career and this new offer that we've been seeing in your last three readings. So what is your advice for Capricorn in uh, dealing with this new opportunity, um, this brand new beginning? What can Capricorn do more of? Let's just see what can Capricorn do more of. The first card out is nice, the magician. What they want you to know is that everything that you need to be successful with this new opportunity, this new start, you have it all within your control. So this is a very empowering energy. It's a very empowering card to start your reading on because it basically brings the energy back to in, back to you, right? So you, uh, if any of you watching were feeling a bit disempowered or you're kind of leaving it up to external environment, external circumstances for this opportunity to come in, please note that everything that you need to make the most out of this opportunity, to grab this beautiful offer, to propel your career in the next direction and this big, huge uh, potential, it's all within you. So the magician basically has all the four tools of the tarot. So, you know, we've got swords, wands, cups, and um, pentacles. And the magician basically has all the tools at his or her disposal or their disposal. So tarot is gender neutral, take the energies uh, as you relate to them. So this is a really cool card to start your energy on. So Capricorn, I want you to know that everything that you need to manifest this new opportunity into being is within your control and continue to manifest, continue to get very specific with your goals, continue to put it out there in the universe, what exactly you're manifesting. If there's a certain number that you need to earn, let's say by July 1st, put it out there to the universe that this is the amount of money I need to have in my bank account every month from the 1st of July. Uh, trust me, this stuff works. I know um, some of you who haven't tried manifestation before might feel like, oh my God, it cannot be that simple. But the universe is so abundant. Um, and I think as human beings, we're just not aware of how powerful we are and how quickly we can manifest abundance into our life. The minute we start to put out that confidence into the world, into the universe that yes, I deserve it. I'm going to make that money. I'm going to get that job offer. It's like when you align your own energies with positivity, with the fact that yes, you are capable, you are the magician, you have everything it takes to manifest this into your life, into your life. That's when the universe starts to catch on to that energy and starts to give you all of that back in return. Trust me, I've tried it in my life. It's worked for me. Uh, I tried manifesting with a specific number that I needed to earn at a certain date. And boom, it happened for me. I got that offer. I got that number that I was looking for. In fact, the number was a little bit more than what I was manifesting. So trust me, if I can do it, so can you. Like I'm, uh, you know, yes, I read Paro, but, you know, in all practical senses, I'm exactly like anybody watching. It's just that maybe I've worked a little bit more on my intuitive skills and I can channel energies a little bit more from my spirit team because. This is what I've invested uh, my time and energy in. I've studied the tarot. I've studied uh, how to manifest things. But, you know, having said that, look, you know, I, I when I was manifesting this offer and this amount of money, I don't think I was so deep into my spiritual path and it still happened for me. So, you know, let that be an example. Hopefully that's encouraging for some of you watching. All right. What can Capricorn do more of to manifest this abundance in your money and career sector? What can you do more of? Oh, my God. Oh my God, you're getting such positive cards. The nine of cups, look at that. There's literally that chest of gold, that treasure chest. This is that card of like a major wish fulfillment. So continue to live as if. Live as if this opportunity is already here in your life. Start thinking about what are you going to do with that additional money? Where are you going to invest it? How are you going to spend it? How are you going to create a life of that abundance? If you want to 
help somebody in your family, help some of your friends, or just give back to your community, or just continue to invest in yourself, go to school, educate, get more skills, get new skills. Oh my God, like just start living as if because you're very close to this major wish fulfillment. So spirit wants you to know that, that you're getting that treasure chest real soon. What does Scorpio need to be careful of? Why do I keep calling you Scorpio? Sorry, on this channel, I read a lot for Scorpio as well. Um, so what does Capricorn need to do less of? Because sometimes, you know, we engage in behavior that's not really self-serving, that's not really value adding. So it's good to, you know, get a heads up from our spirit team. What is it that you can do less of as you continue to manifest abundance in your money and career sector? What can you do less of? Oh my God, the wheel of fortune. You're literally even in the what can you what can you do less of segment? You're getting such positive cards with the star card underneath, which is a major wish fulfillment, destiny stepping in. But they want you to be patient because the wheel of fortune brings in things when the universe thinks we are ready for it. So I know in your last reading that I uh, did for you yesterday or the day before, it was literally like you can start to see this abundance coming in as soon as June 21st. And then over the course of a month from, I would say by like mid-July or so, this energy would really pick up maximum momentum. And then over the next three months, you would already, oh, that's a reminder uh, from the universe right there. So I uh, take whatever happens in a reading as a sign. And there was a little bit of a reminder that popped up on my screen. So here is a reminder, Capricorn, that you've got this. The universe has your back, but you've got to be patient. So I was saying within the next three months, most of you would already be in this new opportunity. You would be working hard. You would be in that new job, in that new business project, in that new partnership. So just know that you've got to be patient. Like the universe is bringing in this abundance when it is the right time for you. So the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Luck is going to be on your side. You are favored. You are chosen. But you've got to be patient. It's going to come to you when you know the energy fields have aligned for you when they know that you are ready for this maximum abundance in your lifetime because sometimes good things come to us but at the wrong timing and we're not able to capitalize on it so you don't have to worry about that capricorn your spirit team the universe is going to make sure that it shows up the abundance when it needs to but you've got the star at the bottom of the deck you have destiny stepping in you have a major reorientation of your life is what I'm sensing. I think for a lot of you, unfortunately, and I'm really sorry this is your story, you've not felt very happy in your money and career sector for almost like years, maybe a decade for some of you, maybe longer for some of you. This is when the wheel and the magician kind of cards show up. This is a major chapter closing out and a huge new beginning coming in for you with money, with, I mean, this is the wheel of fortune, right? So need I say more? I mean, this is the most abundant card that you could get in a money spread or a career spread. You've got the nine of cups with that and the magician. So what they're saying, Capricorn, is that do not underestimate what you bring to the table. And I think I said that to you in your last reading as well. Ask for your worth. You know, So when you're negotiating offers, when you're getting into like new business deals, do not shy away from asking for what you truly think is your worth, what truly your skill set should be capitalized on or should be monetized on. Do not settle for a number that's lower than the number that you want in your head. That's a direct message from the universe and the spirit team for you. So just make sure that you do not shortchange yourself. You are worthy Capricorn. Everything that you have invested in yourself, what you bring to the table, your skill set, it's very, very valuable. And I want you to know that. So Start manifesting. Think of that number that you want to have in your bank account. Think of that offer, what dollar value or whatever currency um, you know applies to your situation needs to be in that offer letter. And trust me, get super clear down to the cents, down to the pennies, and see how the universe starts to align with you. Because most people, unfortunately, do not have clarity, do not know how to think from a place of like abundance, think from a place of Yes, it's going to happen for, for me. You know, I think when you're panicking or you're manic manifesting, um, that's basically sending out more energies of lack rather than abundance. But if you manifest from a space of calm, you know, like meditate, get centered, get clear with your energies that look, I've worked hard, I've invested in my skill set, I bring XYZ to the table, I think I should be paid X amount for my skill set, and just believe it's going to happen for you. 
Doubt is not an option, Capricorn. Believe from a place, manifest from a place where you're like, doubt is not an option. That is the number that's going to be offered to me. Boom. See how that energy shifts around to you, Capricorn. I want you to try it. I mean, there's no harm, right? At least try it. Um, oh my God. Let me know in the comments section how this all turns out for you and how you're resonating with this energy. What is it that you are doing differently this time around? How are you communicating a spirit of confidence and a spirit of conviction to the universe that you trust the direction of the universe, you trust the abundance that's coming in, you trust the energies that you're starting to feel around you. Okay, let's uh, close off your reading with just a few cards on what's coming in. Let's continue to see what's coming in for Capricorn for money and career. But just remember, you have what it takes, Capricorn. Oh my God, you're getting a whole different perspective on money and career. It's been interesting that you've been pulling a lot of major arcana cards. So those are the big mysteries in life. There's going to be joy and celebration, a reason, a cause for joy and celebration. Oh my God, I think some of you are really finding your tribe at work. You're finding like-minded people. For some of you, your friends could help you a lot or you get this job opportunity and offer through somebody that you know. You know, these days, like, like most new jobs, you kind of get through your network or through, oh my God, the sun is shining bright, um, through like knowing people, right? And like putting yourself out there, introducing yourself, uh, going to networking events and saying, hey, I can do this for your company. And, you know, like really kind of pitching yourself as well. And I feel like that could be very, very um, interesting for you. I can see some cards have flipped over. You've got the tower. It's going to all happen very unexpectedly. Three of pentacles, which is the work card. Look at that, the lovers and the page of wands. Good news is on its way. I think for some of you, uh, this is really interesting, but I felt this in your last reading as well. And maybe I called it out, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But I think for some of you, you're going to have options. It's not just one offer. I think you're going to be so confident and so comfortable in your skin that people are going to gravitate towards you. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have multiple offers or multiple opportunities in which you can sort of pivot your money and career sector. So I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. I am so excited for you. Do let me know in the comments section how all of this is panning out for you. And remember, you have what it takes and do not settle for a penny less than what you think you're worth. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if Hit that like button if this video resonated and please subscribe to the channel. It really helps my channel grow. Take care, Capricorn. Bye-bye.